Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. A question I get asked often concerning regression is for the goodness of fit measure, do we report the R square or the adjusted R square? Well, the simple rule is for simple linear regression, you report the R square, and for multiple regression, you report the adjusted R square. Recall that multiple regression is when you've got two or more explanatory variables in your model, the simple regression model, otherwise known as the bivariate model, only has one x in the model. Okay, what's the reason for this? The reason is that, technically speaking, and wait for it, that r square is a non-decreasing function of the x's, meaning that as you increase the model by putting more and more x in your model, the r square will either remain the same or go towards 1, making you think that the model is improving, even when you put rubbish into your model. In other words, even if you put irrelevant x's in your model. So recall that this r square takes a value between 0 or 1, respective of whether it's a straight r square or adjusted r square. Uh, a value close to 0 means the model is a poor fit, whereas it's close to 1 means it's good fit. Let's demonstrate using this uh, earnings data here. So first I will regress earnings on tenure, the length of time spent in a company. So you'd think there would be a relationship there. Okay, look at the tenure, look at the t-statistic and the corresponding p-value. p-value is less than 0 0.05, so it's significant from 0. Let's look at the r-squares here. So here it's saying that 2.4% of the total variability in earnings is explained by tenure. Let's record these two in this Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so here you go, the first model where you've got one X here, we've converted into percentages, the R square, and it's just R square by multiplying by 100. Let's now make the model bigger. Let's go to multiple regression by adding something. Let's add, say, age. What happens now? Okay, well, according to the output, tenure is significant, age not significant, p-value bigger than 0.05. We recall that p-value here stands for probability. Probability takes a value between 0 and 1. Okay, so this is quite close to 1. So way above 0.05, so not significant. Look at the R square and adjusted R square. Let's record these. Okay, so what we can see is that by adding age, which you can see is not a relevant predictor, the R square has remained roughly the same, but adjusted R square has gone down. So it's penalized you for putting in age, which is not relevant. I'll do one more so that you've got the idea. Let's add in something ridiculous. Wait, oh, wait, when in year 2002. Well, you know, in general, weight's not relevant for earnings, not unless you, your, your job <laughs> is dependent on uh, the weight. All right, what happens now? Well, you can see that both uh, the weight is not significant. Let's record these two. Right, so what we can see is, in general, what's happened is as I increase the number of x's, r square has gone up, even though we included some non-relevant x's, whereas the adjusted r square, you can see, has gone down. It's gone up a bit more, but uh, yeah, it can, it's gone down as well as up. We note that for each model, the adjusted r square is no bigger than the r square. In this case, they're all lower. And that's a technical result. You'll never get adjusted r square bigger than r square. The main thing to come out of this is that if you're wanting to report the goodness of fit statistic, if you're doing multiple regression, that's when you've got more than one x in your model and your dependent variable is continuous, report the adjusted r square. Otherwise, if it's just a simple linear regression model, you report the r square. But to be honest with you, in real life, no model are as simple as the simple linear regression model. So in other words, most of the time, you're looking at this guy. It doesn't mean that the r square is not relevant because it is relevant for hypothesis testing even in the case when you're dealing with multiple regression. Okay, so hope that's cleared that thing up about R-square and adjusted R-square. Goodbye.